Good morning, class of 2024. My name is Ferdos Nipu. I am a second year medical student, as well as the president of the Islamic Medical Student Association here at MSUCOM. First and foremost, I would like to thank Dr. Ruger for giving me the opportunity to speak to all of you. And to each and every one of you, I want to personally say congratulations on being accepted and being able to embark on your medical school journey. What I would like to do today is just take a few minutes and share with you my story, and hopefully you can take something from it and carry it through your entire medical school journey. About a year ago, I was in your exact same shoes. I was feeling very excited, at the same time, very nervous about starting my medical school journey. And one of the things that really made me nervous was having to live with a complete stranger. You see, I, I got accepted very late into the cycle. So when it came time to finding a roommate, I just went on the class Facebook page and I found whoever that was available. Now, keeping in mind, prior to medical school, one, I had never lived with another roommate. I commuted during my undergraduate years. And as well as my new roommate, Jeff, I had never met him. I had never had any interactions with him. So this is one of the things that really made me nervous. Now, to my surprise, Jeff not only turned out to be an amazing roommate, but an amazing friend as well, right? I, you see, we would study together. We would uh, drive to class together. We would go to the gym together. And even apart from you know, our studies, we were able to make time and play Super Smash Bros together. And one of the things that really made me happy about having Jeff as a roommate was that both of us were doing very well on our, on our exams. And even then, we still managed time to have fun, to relax, to go to the gym, to play video games, to do the things that we enjoyed. And honestly, that's what medical school is supposed to be. And you know, looking at it, my first year of medical school was going perfectly just how I had it imagined, right? I had an amazing roommate, I was doing well in my classes, and even on top of that, I was able to you know, have fun and relax. However, everything you know, changed on the night of August 11th, 2019, where I found out that Jeff had tragically passed away. And I'll be honest with you, at first, you know, when, when, when the news hit me, I, I, I froze. I, I didn't know how to react. I didn't know what to make sense of it. And in my head, I kept telling myself that, no, this did not happen. This is un like, this is like, it wasn't real. It just, it felt so unreal. And I kept telling myself that, no, th this is not happened. And so one thing in particular was that every time I would think about it, or every time I would think about the events leading up to his death, I, I've noted, I noticed that my hands would shake and then my body would I would just feel chills all over my spine and for some time I, I dealt with these things on my own you know I had a lot of friends they were telling me that hey you should go ahead and seek professional counseling however you see you know I come from a culture where mental health isn't really emphasized and so when it came to uh, you know seeking help I, I told myself like no I don't need it and I can handle this all on my own you know, little did I realize that I was only doing myself more harm by trying to deal with this on my own. About one to two weeks later, I finally made the decision that, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Dr. Taylor, our school psychologist and counselor. And in addition to that, I also spent a lot of time speaking with Dr. Ruger in her office. Now, one thing that I, I took note of was I didn't hear things like, hey, you should try this, this would help, or you know, why don't you do this? This will help you move on. Rather, what I heard from both Dr. Taylor as well as Dr. Ruger was, please tell us what we can do for you, right? Please tell us how we can help you. And to me, that spoke volumes about MSU Com. Really, you know, I know it's very cheesy to say this, right? Um, but it's true, right? Here at MSU Com, we are one community. And on another thing, is that at any given time, right, we may never know what our classmate is going through. At any given time, you know, for us, everything could be going perfectly well, whereas one of our classmates, you know, they're on the verge of dropping out of medical school just because they failed their first exam. It, it, we may never know what anyone else is going through. This is why I highly recommend everyone, you know, whenever you get the chance, just take one minute and ask your fellow classmate, hey, how are you? Or something you know whenever you see them and they don't look like themselves then just simply ask them like hey I've noticed you know you don't really look like yourself um, is everything okay is there anything I can help you with you know we don't know but that one question can make a world of a difference and I'll leave you with this one of our OPC instructors dr. Bishop used to always tell us if you can't love and care for one another 
then how can you expect to love and care for your future patients? Thank you.